For three days, these women have been deliberating on ways to resolve some issues germane to the growth and advancement of the gender. The representative of the governor of Bono State delivered a speech on the theme of the conference tagged Spring Forth Stand Out. There is the need for collective action by men, women, and youth in addressing existing barriers. This can generate more innovative and effective outcomes. Young women need to be seen as partners in governance and development, and for that to happen, three things must be done. One, change men's negative beliefs and attitude towards young women. Social cultural holders was identified as one of the issues preventing women's increased participation in governance and development. These hurdles undermine women's ability to fully contribute to societal development which is excavated by poverty and lack of skills and formal education in our communities. We must strive hard to improve the situation of young women in Lagos and Nigeria by collaborating with well-meaning individuals, groups and organizations. We must therefore recognize community leadership and civic engagement skills as essential tools that will enable young women to participate in governance and development. In her remarks, Chairman of Council, Dr. Ibijoke Sawunlu, challenged women to speak out against insecurity and poverty in the country. She spoke alongside the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Baba Femi Hamzat. We were told yesterday we have over 261 borders. We have 137 of these borders that are porous. It's like this room. The front door is closed, but the back door is open. If you are a wife of any of our security personnel in this hall, if you are a wife of any of the customs officers, immigration in this hall, it is time for us to lend our voice out there to ensure that whatever is being said in this hall is passed down to our spouses, to ensure that this country is safe, to ensure that poverty is eradicated. It is only when poverty is eradicated, it's only when there is security in the country that people want to come to Nigeria to come and invest. Let's go out there and vote for Ashwa Jubala Metu. And I will tell you why. We said we are a nation of history. Part of our problem as a nation is that we have forgotten our history. Is that we have westernized ourselves. Is that we have broken our developmental trend. How do we bring it back? So we must bring it back by allowing people who have precedence to do the work. The highlight of the closing ceremony captured Council's awards to the seven women who have distinguished themselves in their chosen career. Fumi Iyonda, a veteran TV personality, was an awardee. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News.